Chugga, 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 chugga. Whoop! Okay, what is with this foolishness? Why am I doing such weird, stupid, ridiculous things? Well, at least I was in the Super Bowl. Ha, 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 ha. All seriousness, let me get this crap on the road. What it was this fiasco? Okay, where can I begin? Oh, tell me when I, I, I can wake up. What? Zero? Zero? No. Still zero to zero? No. They keep on fumbling. Interception. Play after play after play. I was like, are we at an amateur hour? I mean, throw the ball. Hit the guy in the butt. Throw the ball down on the ground. Interception. Ta it's just flags. Every... every it, this is this is this like 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 preliminaries. This, this is Super Bowl. It just felt now. Don't get me wrong. I don't really follow football that much, but I know the game, and I have watched it before. The reason why I haven't been watching it recently, recent, 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 is because too much money is going into the Super Bowl into the players. It's just they're getting paid way too much. But that aside, I'm not going to go into that rant. I want to see players play the game. Now, some people may say, oh, this was a, a, a very defensive game, you know, a very good defensive strategy. Okay, okay. But when you have a good defense, you also have to have a good offense. But if you keep on missing throws, missing catches, although the catches weren't that bad, it was, it was just poor aiming and poor... I mean, some of those shots were just so off. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now... <clears throat> On to other parts of the Super Bowl. I didn't really have any stakes in this. So, uh, you know, I, so I know a lot of Patriots fans out there. I know a lot of Rams fans. And there's, some, there's a lot of people that just go for the underdog. I had zero stakes in this. I probably figured out the Patriots were going to win just because of their namesake and just their uh, <clears throat> legacy. But again, I... Green Bay wasn't up there, so it didn't matter to me. But, man, it... I mean, now, to be fair, and I'm going to be fair about this, I could see them being frustrated when they showed a close-up of the cameras. On to other news. Mr. Beast's little uh, showcase on Super Bowl, I was, I was expecting a $5 million uh, commercial shot. That's not what we got. We got T-shirts. Now, let me see if I can pull up the uh, picture here. Now, I don't know if it was just, it was too hyped up or, you know, because everyone was thinking Mr. Beast was going to show up at the, uh, yeah, Mr. Beast was going to show up at an ad. And... Eh. Yeah, everyone, everyone expected the Mr. Beast to show up like in a little commercial ad. And I was kind of looking forward to it. Considering that a whole pre-show was talking about YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I was like, okay, there's something going to be here. This is what we got. Now, they were actually situated behind the Rams goalpost. Now, I didn't really look for it. But then again, I did not, not look for it. I couldn't really see it. Frankly, when you're watching the live game, there's so many quick action shots that the camera... Ha and then, to be fair, I, I didn't really look through the goalposts. I was actually looking at the game. So I don't know if it, it was a clear shot. But, okay, this is what we got. A picture. All right. Moving on. Okay, halftime show. Uh, Maroon Five, and who else was on there? I, I can't even remember at this point. Uh, Adam Levine. Um, the show was okay. Now, what was with that that SpongeBob Square? A lot of people were they're talking about the SpongeBob SquarePants thing, and I saw it, but it was like a small little clip, and it was over. And everyone that was with me during the Super Bowl play was like, that's it? That's all there is? Eh. 
And I have to say, the show, the show, the, 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 I have to say the the halftime show was to be to be I mean it was it was okay it was mediocre that's a really good to, to, good word to put it was mediocre there are some highlights and certain, there are some cool sounds but I watched the the people around me and this is a, a all across of all ages from like younger to older and more people were looking at Reddit and other things during the halftime party than actually watching it. There were a couple that were watching, like, oh, you know, oh, that's that's so and so, that's a, you know, that's the band that made this song. But after like a few minutes, they just went on to other things. They started talking about internet and this and stuff. And you know, I watched it because I wanted to see because I was, I'm looking for like little clues in it. But no one else was even interested. Now, as I said, age all across the board. It's not just young kids, not just old adults. It was it was. A big variety of personalities and uh, different types of people. Okay, um, moving on. Commercials. Some were good. Uh, the Bud Light ones were actually pretty good. The whole Bud Light Game of Thrones uh, connection, that was actually... People took notice of that. People were actually went back to watching when they saw that. Like, oh, wait, what's going on here? What, what, what's, you know, what's this about? Now let's go into what everyone is probably clicking on here for. I'm going to show the uh, the end game, the Marvel end game uh, trailer, real quick, and I'll dissect it frame by frame because I know everybody wants to see those little nitpicky things. But this was actually probably one of the more interesting things. Let's just play it. Real quick. Some people move on, but not us. Not us. Okay. Now this was really short. This was really short, but there's been some uh, reviews and some analysis of, of this already. I'm gonna go into it bit by bit because it's quick. There's a lot of quick things and a lot of the things I also noticed right away. Now let me see if we can do this frame by frame. I don't know if I can actually do that. Okay, well first, Ant-Man. We all knew that Ant-Man was gonna be part of this. So that's uh, the wasp suit right there. Uh, let's go in a little bit. Okay, Spider-Man with uh, Captain America Shield. Now, is this referring to? This is probably the scene. Uh, most this most likely is the scene when Spider-Man was uh, doing the whole uh, <clears throat> Captain America versus Iron Man thing. So that's why you can see his, his suit here. So this is not a. This is like a, a reflection back or memory of who left. I believe. Let's see. Let's go up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of sticky. All right, so we have uh, everyone knows <laughs> he's still here. So this this shows that this is a memory or, or or something that referring back to the past when things were before the. So yeah, Spider Man, does it keep on? Yeah, yeah. These are showing like all the. The, the departed like right here and just memories okay yeah that's weird it keeps on doing that it's like i'm clicking on it and it's go it's going back and forth between the title but then it shows all these different frames so there whoever edited this did a very good job because it's very difficult for me to cut through okay dr strange anything else before spider-man nick fury all right that's it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Vision. Okay. City and clouds. Not a big deal. Again. Although, look at the waters. It like the like looks like everything is flooded around there, and everything is just stopped up. So it's because nobody's working on the ships. Everything is just kind of sitting there. So the it's it's a it's a 
Annunciation that the city is at a standstill from what happened. Empty field. Uh, I don't see... If it, uh, there's a lot of cars that just parked there. <laughs> you know, this may look like, oh, wow, look, this is like emptied out. But this is probably a typical uh, typical um, game, you know, scenery. So they probably didn't even have to edit this, really. But Manhattan and... Uh, uh, closest casino Empire City Casino City Field Home of the Blah 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 we co <laughs> Cover that out Toyota sponsored it And Goya City Bank City Field I'm looking at all The, the, the signs here Because they They had this Get sponsored on this Some People Where do we go now That they're gone I see all the shadows And you can see them It's like a support group In the back Where they're all sit, Huddled together Like what do we do What do we do Move on so time has passed. Why? Yeah, it looks like a support group. They're all sitting in a circle like, so Johnny, how do you feel today? Well, I'm not doing so good. Well, why is that? Well, because half my family died. Well, Johnny, let's talk about this. What about us? Okay, and we have Iron Man. Wait a minute, what? Okay, obviously he's building something. They're probably, okay, they're on the ship. Fixing it, repairing it, doing something. What is she doing with those? Oh, she's. it looks like uh, working on wires. Probably rebuilding or fixing the ship. Okay. They're Avenger headquarters, the new headquarters. And we see Black Widow, Captain America, Lou Ferrigno, <clears throat> the Hulk, sorry. <laughs> John Cheadle. Okay. Now, someone did post an article saying that there's a, a gap here where they should have put in a fifth person, either someone standing next to Captain America or another speculation that it's Ant-Man, just, just really tiny and you just can't see it. And it's just, just kind of like they're walking through. Who knows? Rocky Raccoon. Training up your skills because guns are relevant in, in cosmic battles. I don't know. Ant-Man. Okay, they're suiting up. And some office. Probably a cut scene from the middle of the movie that actually isn't really dramatic, but they're just putting it in here just to show the faces. Thor. Thor hammer. Uh, it looks like... Oh, he actually has his axe there. So... I guess he's getting ready. Now we know he's he's in there legit. Ooh, I just noticed that. Hold on, look at this. Watch Captain America's left his his right arm. I had to think about it a second. Shaking. Strap down. Get ready to fight. All right, now they're all Avengers headquarters, and they're probably for the quote unquote final assault. Let me see if there's anything. Uh, nothing that looks out of the ordinary or strange. Although there is a gap there, again, where you could fit someone else in there. And just April. We, we know it's coming in April. Okay. So, uh, Infinity Wars. Now, let me think of what else there was uh, going on during the commercials. Oh, if anybody's a big Stargate fan, uh, which I am, if you notice the, the Bud Light commercials where they're going around with the uh, the corn syrup, you'll notice that the actor, I forget his name, the actor who played Braytac from Stargate, he showed up as the wizard, or a wizard, or something that looks like a wizard there, which I thought was kind of a neat uh, neat represent, representation. Anyways, uh, that's my rant and my review of the Super Bowl fiasco. <laughs> I'm going to call it that, because until the last hour of the game, it re I mean... It, it, the history even proves it. it was the first game where no one actually sc scored a touchdown at the you know the at the halftime i mean it was for a long time it was like three to three like i was expecting like field goal field goal i was seriously expecting this to be a field goal win where it's just gonna be like okay one more field goal and that's it they you know they proved it wrong so they made it a little bit interesting at that point but Anyways, uh, well, I hope you guys had a good Super Bowl. At least you had fun, fun time with people eating good food, celebration kind of thing, just getting together. 
you know, half half of this whole thing is is the people that you're with and the food and the atmosphere and just the get-togethers. And if you didn't really have a lot of people, hopefully you at least enjoyed enjoyed a good show, <laughs> one way or the other. So I just had to make this video and make it now because it's it's quick. It happened quick, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else uh, that stuck out. Oh, the Steve Carell show showing up in some of the commercials was actually pretty good. I'm not really going to show that because I don't know how the copyrights. I'm probably going to have to deal with that whole clip for the Marvel thing, but it was quick. Uh, let's see what else. I'm trying to. Well, this is a good example. If I can remember it, then it was memorable. If it was not, then it wasn't. So I'm trying to think of anything really stuck out commercial-wise. Uh, just the Bud Light stuff. Oh, the, we did see the Clydesdales, the Budweiser Clydesdale for that one little clip, and. That was it, just subpar commercials. No, I'm not going to say it was, it was a YouTube Rewind fail, but it was pretty... It's it's interesting that we're definitely seeing a shift of content being more interesting on YouTube and Netflix and other things versus the mainstreams. I, I think we're so used to having good quality content out there that when we see stuff like this, when they're pouring millions and millions of dollars into it, it's almost like it's laughable. Anyways, that's my two cents on this. I'm going to upload this today. I'm working on a few other things, but I wanted to throw this out there. I'm still going to watch Infinity War. So, And I will have to make a small uh, reply because someone posted a uh, response to my Ghostbusters and also a review of one of the casts from the, the, the reboot. So I got to make a little quick upload on that as well because it's hilarious. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.